I'm Christy Chilton, and I'm here at the Cine Bistro in downtown Sarasota with the Sarasota Film Festival for Hollywood Nights. In just a few moments, we're going to meet a great deal of young filmmakers who are going to fill us in on all of their wonderful film projects, their experiences making these films, and what they look forward to in the future. Stay tuned for more with the Sarasota Film Festival and Hollywood Nights. Hi, my name is Christy Chilton. I'm with the Sarasota Film Festival, and we're here tonight at the Hollywood Nights event, premiering young filmmakers and their projects. With me, I have Garrett. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. Are you excited about your project being complete? I am very excited. Now, I worked on this for three semesters, because I worked on it when I was in fourth grade before COVID hit. And then next time we had to do a bunch of script revising and then we just fi finished it this last semester. So that's a big project. Yeah. So how did you find out about Hollywood Nights? Okay, so my film teacher told me about it and I decided this is going to be great and I'm going to get to see my film premiere. And so you awesome. were excited right I away. I was very excited. Oh, that's so cool. So do you think that you'll do it again? Definitely. Awesome. And what is the name of your project? The Game. The Game? Mm-hmm. All right, awesome. And then what is the game about in a nutshell? It's about a video game character that comes to life and the kids have to teach them how to go to school. Oh, I like that a lot. Well, we're really excited to have you here tonight and excited to see your, your show. Thank you. Absolutely. And we're back at Hollywood Nights with the Sarasota Film Festival. I'm here with Raphael and Elijah. Hey, guys. Hi. How are we doing tonight? Good. Oh, good. I'm right. real excited. Yeah, are you? Oh, that's so good to hear. So, how did you hear about this project to start? Well, I was in third grade, and so I, I always wanted to be film when I was at Rowlett. And so I came up with an idea of a film in, my, in for third grade. And so, well, we got to fourth grade, and we just made it alive. That's so cool. And what about you? How did you hear about Hollywood Nights? Well, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing. Whenever, whenever they had our film choices and I was fun with electronics, I wanted to do film because we can edit and do some like recording and stuff. What do you think your favorite part was about making this project? Probably doing it as a team and having fun with, what, fun with each other. Yeah, yeah the same, same thing. thing. And what would you, would you do this again, this project again? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And then what would you like people to take away from after they watch your film? Well, I just want them to know we put a lot of effort in it. Although it was comedy, it took us very long to make it, and we had to have like a serious game face on it. It was hard to do, but we're happy it turned out so well. Yes. Some people weren't listening, <laughs> like whenever they were recording when they were supposed to, and they got him dancing. <laughs> it was just like standing yeah. still. I, w I was waiting, and then I was got bored. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, guys. We're really excited about it. And thank you so much, guys. All right, we'll be back in just a few moments with more from the Hollywood Nights at Sarasota Film Festival. And we're back at Hollywood Nights with the Sarasota Film Festival. I'm here with this Miss Amy Emmerman from Rowlett Elementary School. Mm -hmm. And we're here to talk about the Hollywood Nights project. How did you hear about this project? Well, Rowlett Academy has been involved with Sarasota Film Festival for many years. I actually attended it, um, oh, I don't know how many years ago, but my nephew's project was in the Sarasota Film Festival when they were at Rowlett Elementary, and they're in 10th and 11th grade now. So um, that was the first time that I had been a part of it. And 
Um, I started working at Rowlett Academy in the film department about four years ago. So we have been submitting films and... Um, and That's awesome. So you've got a good history with the Sarasota Film Festival. Yes, it's very cool that we have something local for our students to be a part of. Exactly, exactly. What do you think was uh, one of the most like interesting things, uh, learning curves maybe, that you saw your, your children experience or your, your students? Well, you know, they are elementary school students, so we work a lot on um, the story and creating a good story because I think what makes a good film is a good story. So we work a lot on script writing, you know, we work a lot on coming up with ideas. They actually go through the whole process of making a film where they pitch their ideas and then um, we decide on which ones we're going to actually go ahead and produce. And then we spend a long time actually working on the script. We go through several drafts because, you know, it has to make sense. It has to have a beginning, a middle, an end. Yeah. It has to have a conflict, a resolution. I, I, sorry, I just can imagine that might be a little bit difficult with younger children, but you've managed to pull it off. It what do you, like, what inspired you, you think, the most about this, like watching them? Well, what I love is um, the teamwork that they learn because we do, you know, there are many positions um, on the film that we have to do. So the whole class pitches in for every single film. So there are some students here who may have written the film, directed the film, or was part of the cast of the film. Some students were the clapboard operator or, you know, the camera person or the audio person. So, you know, we all, we have a, a my fifth grade class is eight, has 18 students in it and everybody works uh, a little part on the film. That's so awesome. So I'm assuming it's safe to say that you'll probably be doing this next year and to con continuing on? Absolutely, yes. It's something uh, we love having Sarasota Film Festival somewhere close that we could submit our films to because the students work really hard and I think it's so fun for them to come out and see their film on the big screen. I totally agree. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll be right back with more from the Hollywood Nights at the Sarasota Film Festival. And we're back at the Hollywood Nights here at the Sarasota Film Festival. I am with Aiden and Ozzy, and they, I believe, have produced a film. Is this correct, guys? Yes. What's the name of your movie? The High um, Five. Yeah, The High Five. What's it about? So, um... So um, me and my friend Raph are the actors, so our hand-eye coordination was off and we can't, couldn't high-five, so we go to several different places to, um, to see if we can fix that. That sounds interesting. And what was the best part about making your movie, do you think? Um, I would say probably when uh, my teacher tells us to fi fist pump, but we miss and punch our faces. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Did that really happen? Oh no, oh my goodness. So what do you want people to like take away from your film after they watch it? What do you want them to feel about? Well, we were really trying to make it like a comedy-ish. Um, so we try to make it like very funny and like drama. So you want them to laugh and have a good time, right? Yeah. Okay, and do you guys think you'll do this again in the future? Make another one? Um, probably. Yeah. yeah. What grade are you in now? Uh, we're um, in fourth, fourth grade, right? and we're almost yeah. we're almost um, um, we're almost to the point that we're probably soon gonna go to fifth grade. Yeah, like two or three weeks, I think. Yeah. That's really exciting, guys. Well, thank you so very much, and I'm excited to see your movie. Okay, thank you. Awesome job, dudes. And we're back here at the Hollywood Nights by the Sarasota Film Festival. I'm here with parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Barnes. How are we doing tonight? Very good. How are you? Great. Good. Are we excited? Oh, Very we're so excited. super excited. So I understand your son Garrett has a film in the Hollywood Nights. Yes, he does. It's called The Game. And so watching as a parent, like what was the most, uh, I guess, inspiring or what touched your heart the most, like seeing him? Well, he's always been very extremely creative, so to see that side come out and other people embrace that side of him, because at fifth grade it's not always seen as a positive, yeah. and he sees it as a positive, and so do his friends. Oh, I love that. That's a great, yeah. I love that a lot. Were there any challenges or learning curves that you felt like were him, with him being younger, doing something like this on that scale? He's pretty advanced, so he, he's on top of it normally does a good job. That's what it seemed like when I talked to him. He like had it under control. So so do you guys think that you're going to continue this with him and encourage it for him? Because he seems to love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. He says he wants to go to Ringling and possibly 
do film when he goes to Ringling, so that would be awesome if he does it. He's already got a master plan. He does. <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes not good. Yeah, well, poison, <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. So how would you, like inspire other parents or encourage other parents that may not be involved in such creative ideas uh, or projects like this one? What would you say to them to kind of nudge them along in the right direction? Always pose questions to your children and make sure that you find out what they like and they enjoy and then kind of nudge them towards that even if it's not something you would have thought you would have done as a youngster. And point them in the right direction. And even embrace the things that, you know, you know they're passionate about, and even if, you, like what you said, I love that. Side of life, because yeah. he's quirky, and I love the fact that he's quirky. It's the good, that's what makes us, you know, it is. It's, it's our creative uh, uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And we're back here at Hollywood Nights with the Sarasota Film Festival. I have Gia and Naya here, two young filmmakers who I believe have created a really cool film, right, guys? Yeah. May I ask you the name of it? Um, it's called Just Believe. Just Believe. Awesome. And could I ask, what's that about? Um, it's about a homeschooled girl who um, realizes that she has to go back to, like, real school in person. And she's super quirky and, like, funny. And she starts to doubt, like, her self-identity. And then in the end, she realizes that she is enough. What a great message. That's awesome. So how did you guys find out about this project, The Hollywood Nights? Well, um, <laughs> I found out recently that I got into this. I wasn't like aiming to get in. I was like, we'll just submit it if we w just for fun and see if we get in or not. Um, but I made it because camp was out in the summer and I wanted film camp. So me and my dad just Aww. did it together. And um, so was it a really awesome surprise when you found out that you made it into the... Yeah, I was <laughs> sick when I found out, like I had a cold, yeah. but I was still jumping up and down. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> nope. That's exciting. So now you directed the film, correct, Naya? Um, yes, um, I directed, wrote, and acted in it. Um, and at, there were two versions of this film. The one with me acting in it is the one in. But I also had another friend who is not Gia, not Gia, um, who acted in it and said she didn't want to be famous. So she said she had to step She out. dropped out last minute. Now, Gia, what did you do in the film? Um, well, I wasn't in that film, but I was in another film with her called The Growing Garden. The Growing Garden? Now, may I ask what that's about? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Were you acting in it? Like, I was in a classroom scene. Did you enjoy it? Like, it was really fun. What was your favorite part about acting? Well, I liked being able to uh, act with my friend. And it was just, it was really fun how I got to be in a show. That's exciting, right? What was your favorite part about directing and writing? Well, um, writing and directing Just Believe and acting in it was a lot of fun because I was doing so many things and um, I was doing it the way I loved it. And also, the character is such a fun character to play. Oh yeah. So um, I enjoyed it. And in The Growing Garden, I also enjoyed seeing her all the time. Um, and The Growing Garden was actually directed, co-directed by my singing teacher and then my dad. And I was in it with my friend Sammy, who is coming tonight, but he's not here yet. We um, co-starred leads. How fun. Okay, so it's great. You guys kind of all collaborated and made some really awesome projects happen. Now, do you think that you'll do this again in the future? Do you want to develop maybe a future career or side project out of it? What do you think? Well, I want to keep filming, um, but acting, I'm really into acting. So I'm definitely going to film more in the future, and I'm totally going to act more in the future. Yeah. I think you could do both. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can do both. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you can. And what about you, Gia? Do you think you'll do this again in the future? Uh, well, I would like to, yeah, for yeah. sure. And then, okay, so watching your film, Gia, how would you want someone to feel after they're done watching it? Um, well, I would want them to feel entertained. Yeah. I'd want them to like it a lot. Good. And be happy. So, like, uplifting. Yeah. And what about you, Naya? What would you want your, peop your audience to feel after they see your film? Well, I obviously as well want them to be entertained with both films. Um, and I 
want them to go out knowing being themselves is enough and you don't need to change for someone else's view. That is a really great message. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Thank you. And we're back at Hollywood Nights at the Sarasota Film Festival. I have Mr. Chambliss and his daughter Naya Chambliss here. Now I understand, Jerry, that not only does your daughter Naya have a project in the Hollywood Nights um, portion of films, but you do as well? Yes, we do. Could you tell me a little more about that? Absolutely. So uh, Nate Jacobs, the artistic director of the West Coast Black Tube Theater, and I co-wrote and directed and produced a children's television show called The Growing Garden. And basically the theme is diversity, inclusion, friendship, um, morality, biblical studies, all wrapped around a, a message of hope and love with music and kind of a fantasy feel for this garden that helps uh, the children with life lessons. That sounds incredible. Well, so when did you come up with this project? Or? So originally the, um, the idea came from Nate about 25, 30 years ago when he was just starting out as an artistic um, uh, theater uh, person and he was uh, teaching inner city kids up in Bradenton just some theater stuff and it was basically about a five ten minute little project went away disappeared and then when COVID hit we were up in New York our project shut down she was on a film project I was on a project and then Nate's theater all the theaters obviously shut down so this song popped into his head it was a theme song and so he called me up and he goes and he starts singing to me while I'm driving back from, from New York. Randomly starts singing. Randomly, he goes, I got the song in my head and I first thought of you and he goes, I know I want to do something with it, but I'm not sure what, but I think it might be TV. So I said, all right, well, I'm locked down, you're locked down, let's get together. And so we basically got together, he gave me the concept, we came up with the entire series, uh, wrote the first script, wrote the pilot um, episode, and then produced it with all of the safety uh, measures in mind that was coming out of Hollywood. Yeah. So we had a COVID officer, we had pods and everything. We had probably 18, um, 18 actors and about 21 crew and not a single incident. And we were able to pull off a really amazing project. It sounds like it. I mean, especially in that time of COVID. Now, I understand now, Naya, you were in this project as well, The Growing Garden? Um, yes, me and my friend Sammy, who you saw in a picture earlier, um, we're in this project together as the two leads, and I was really excited to be in it with my dad. I was, That's what I was just going to ask you. Was it cool working with your dad on this? Yeah, um, it's really cool because we both understood each other very well, and it worked nice and smooth. And, um, well, it was just a lot of fun because it's such a creative like film yeah. with the flowers and stuff. Yeah, it sounds that way, like the little bit of uh, fantasy element would be fun. And I was pretty much already friends with everyone there, because I work at WBTT as well. What do you do there? I act, <laughs> and um, I do some plays, and I even do camp there in the summer. Um, so, yeah, I already knew everyone, and we all got along perfectly, and the film was amazing. Uh, that's what I bet. I'm excited to see it. What do you find as a parent? What was the was it amazing sharing something like like this? I'm sure with your child, like absolutely. Uh, Nye has basically been on film sets with me since she was six months old. I had her on a in a chest uh, pouch one time when I was working uh, producing a film here. Um, but basically, she's grown up with me in film. Um, I really wasn't pushing her towards film, but she just came to me one day, six years old, and said, "I know what I want to do with my life." That was kind of a really rough thing, because I was like, are you sure? Yeah. She goes, yeah, we need headshots. I need one of those people that gets me jobs, and we need a website. So okay. I went ahead and built that for her on that weekend. And then just little by little, she's been working in the industry here with uh, Florida Studio Theater. She was in once. Um, she'd been working with, she was Ivanka in once. And then she's been working with WBTT, with the players, and then doing a lot of small commercials, um, college projects thesis projects, uh, FSU projects, uh, some national spots, and then she and I worked together on some minor things. But this was really the first big project that uh, Nate and I, you know, looked at different kids and stuff, but we both agreed that her and Sammy Waite was the perfect representation of the growing garden and this friendship that we were cultivating. And so, um, you know, we worked together and it was wonderful. I love having her on set with me. She's such a professional and uh, takes direction really well and gets everybody else really excited on set. And so everybody feeds off of her energy. That's so exciting, and I can see that for sure, meeting you tonight. Thank you both so much. We really look forward to seeing your show, The Growing Garden, and your movie. I'm sorry, what was that called again? Just Believe. There's two things going on. All right, awesome. I would be, too. <laughs> Thank, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
And we're back at Hollywood Nights by the Sarasota Fim Film Festival. I have with me Mr. Mark Famiglio and his daughter. Bryn. Bryn. Bryn, I've heard so much about you. So it's great to meet you. Are you excited to be here tonight? Uh, yes, I am. What is your favorite part of the film festival, may I ask? Well, especially since I see all these little kids like making films and being super creative with what they're working with. That's probably my favorite part about it. Honestly. It's super cute, yeah, I think. It's adorable. <laughs> Everyone, like, they all know what they're talking about, and they're also dressed up, and it's such a sweet night. I that love is, it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then, Mark, what inspired you to bring in something like Hollywood Nights to the film festival? Well, it's about celebrating the kids. And, you know, the minds of children when they're making films, it's, it's done without fear and without malice. Mm -hmm. And so they, they teach adults a lot. It's up to us to listen. So we, you should watch close tonight and look at the themes and the stories these kids have to tell. It's amazing and wonderful, and we've got to run because i got to make a speech. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. It's a you. great point. Thank you, METV. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. My name is Mark Familio, and I'm the president of the Sarasota Film Festival. And I'm here. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. I want to thank Paul and Petra Ratner for spearheading Hollywood Nights this year. They've done a great job, and it's somewhat muted compared to other years, but only because of what's been going on the last year. But it hasn't stifled the creativity that we're seeing that's come out of the children that have been involved with this effort. Come on in, bring burgers, bring the food, come on. It's okay, come on. These guys want burgers, they want fries, let's go. We rely on young filmmakers to present film to us in new and different ways. I mean, we really do, and it's important to us. So when we watch your film, we're looking for excitement. We're looking for new ways of expressing. Young people do it without malice, and they do it without fear. So consequently, we end up with sheer brilliance most of the time. And I appreciate it. It's brought me out. It's brought part of my family out tonight, and we're really excited to be here. A couple of things I want to mention. Um, we have tonight uh, a young man with us who has been uh, involved with the Sarasota Film Festival for some time. He's come back from L.A. as a producer, Sam Curtis. And Sam has uh, worked with our educational department at Booker. And we're very, very proud of him. He's gone out and he's been involved in production uh, recently with one of the films we're showing us here, Summertime. After the first bunch of films here, which I'm really excited to see, I know, where's Mr. Chamberlain here? Where is he? Who together with Nate, I can't see you in the light, but I'm sure you're there somewhere. Uh, together with Nate Jacobs has done a wonderful piece that we're gonna watch uh, after this first batch of films. And I think that Jim, Jim, you're going to, you're going to be speaking. Jerry Chamberlain. Jerry, I'm so sorry. Uh, and you, you've been in the high school working with film students for many, many years. And we salute you for doing so. And thank you for bringing this uh, joint effort with yourself and Nate Jacobs uh, to us to showcase. We appreciate it. So thank you very much for being here. We're very excited about not only this program, but the one that follows. Um, and enjoy the show. Well, that about wraps it up, folks. Tonight we've met some really talented young filmmakers. We've heard their stories, their experiences, and their hopes for the future. I'm certain tonight we've met the future generation of filmmakers. We'd like to thank the Cinevistro Theaters, the Sarasota Film Festival, and all of those talented young filmmakers who continue their artistic pursuits. I'm Christy Chilton for METV, and we'll see you at the movies.